Okay, let's see how recursion will let us search not just the current directory that we give it, but the entire directory tree starting at the directory we've been provided as the root. Here we have search folders. This is going to be our recursive function. And we're going to come in and we're going to list all the items here. And we're going to, for each item, build up the full path to that item. Remember, these little bits are just relative, sort of the name, but not including the path. Before we said, we don't know what to do with directories. Let's just get out of here. And then we said, if it is a file, we'll go get all the matching lines and information about that and extend our all matches. Well, now we can use recursion to solve this problem. So let's write this like else really quick. So we sort of put these in these two cases. So if it's a directory, we do one thing. Otherwise, if it's a file, we go search it. So what are we going to do? Well, we're just going to say, if it's a directory, well, let's also search that directory. And what method do we have that can search folders? Well, the one that we're in but we're gonna search a different folder, a subfolder. And the name of the subfolder is full item, and we still wanna search for the same text. Now this will come back with matches as well. Different sets of matches, probably more, you never know, right? But it's all the stuff within that subfolder, not just an individual file. And then we'll say all matches dot extend those matches as well. Look how perfectly recursion solves this problem. Like it was really one or two lines of code. We removed the continue and we just said, search, but a smaller subset of this tree, we're going to go search. And we're just going to recursively do that till there's no more directories. We're just down to the end, the, the leaves of that hierarchy, if you will. So let's run this and see if it's working. So again, we're going to search our books. Now remember, there's that classics folder that has Sherlock Holmes in it. Previously, we did not have results for Sherlock Holmes. So hopefully we're going to search the books folder. And within there, we're also going to search the classics subfolder. Let's give it a shot. Again, we're going to search for Holmes. And here we go. Ooh, now we have a lot more results. And we've got our Ulysses book, but we also have classics, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. You can see on line 11,587, the table had not been cleared yet. Sherlock Holmes had been da 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 da. Beautiful. And you saw that recursion was the key to making this work in the most dramatically simple way possible. So, in some sense, our app is done. If what we want to give our app is, you know, 10 books that are just all text and maybe that's a, a couple of megabytes, you can see that we can actually search that quite quickly and there's no problem. But if the number of files and the quantity of files gets to be gigabytes of text, you'll see there's a severe performance problem, especially around memory. And we can do much better using some very cool features called generator methods. That's what we're gonna do next.